Today's review is from a brewery that everyone loves to hate. Yep, it's Brewdog, and this is their Candy Kittens. But could this be the best thing to come out of Scotland since Square Sausage? Or is it going to be a straight down the sink pour? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Candy Kittens, this new concoction from Brewdog. And I say concoction because it's a raspberry and guava New England IPA. I love New England IPA. Why bother messing about with it? But this is a 6% IPA. Um, obviously, it's got guava and raspberry puree doesn't really tell you you know brewdog never actually tells you really what hops we don't actually know if there's hops in it you know it could be just some sort of formula that they just pour in some sort of syrupy thing put some water in mix it up and call it a beer I, i've never had a really good brewdog beer i must admit I, you know they're always in the supermarkets and they do bring they brought out a few new ones recently um, there's a West Coast one, there's a, and there's another couple I think I've seen. I've looked at them and I thought, they just sound too weird, and I'm just no, I'm not going to like them, you know. It's like, I like Duopolis. They don't even do that anymore. Duopolis was an oat cream IPA, and that wasn't bad. I thought that was pretty good, actually. Um, but nothing else, really. Hazy Jane at a push. And I just feel this is, is this going to be Hazy Jane, but with raspberry and guava? Well, there's only one thing for it. Let's open the can, stick it in a glass see what it's all about oh my god it's actually going to be pink as well so it's as far removed from a beer as you could probably get i don't know i just expected it to be like a new england style but with a sort of raspberry sort of flavor not necessarily looking like a raspberry so beer in a glass masses of carbonation a sort of what would you call that crimson color um like a rhubarb you know, and with a sort of off-white two-finger head. Yeah, it looks fairly compacted, but there's a lot of a lot of carbonation going up this up this glass. And yeah, I mean, see what the aroma's like. Well, it smells very much like raspberry. It's like a sort of reminds me of those old uh, raspberry pops you used to get from the milkman. Corona was it? Yeah, smells like that. Really, really raspberry, fizzy raspberry juice. There's, there's no, there's no aroma in this that makes you think. Yeah, there's a beer in there somewhere. All you can smell is raspberry. I, I'm not even sure. Not really picking up any of the guava in there at all. So that's it. I expect it's going to be fizzy as well. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Wish me luck. awful it's terrible oh 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 it's not even nice raspberry flavor you think of some of the things we've had that are raspberry flavor i think of like vault city when they use proper raspberries in their sour beers it's really nice this tastes like medicine it really does it tastes like that really awful medicine you got when you were a kid Cross between that and that awful sweets that you used to have a kid, the Parma Violet stuff, it's got that sort of flavour to it. It doesn't taste as raspberry -y as it should. And, that, you know, and the point of saying that it's a New England IPA, well, it's not a New England IPA, it's just a raspberry, sour, fizzy thing. No, tastes like medicine. It is... It's a disgrace to beer, you know. There's people out there that think, oh, I've heard of Brudo. Oh, that sound. They're, actually, this is a story. When I picked this up, there was a guy in there with his girlfriend and they were looking at the craft beer and the one that they picked up was this one. And I thought, you've not had a lot of craft beer, mate. And I, I thought, I'm going to stop him and say, look, check out my channel. Check out some good breweries. If you like to fork craft beer, then start there. Don't mess around buying Brew Dog and Tiny Rebel and Beaver Town. You know that all of those are sort of you should really stay clear of. But Brew Dog is the worst. I don't. I don't see. I think Brew Dog should really are going to be one of those breweries that in five years' time they've disappeared. You know because people are going to stop buying their beer because they make 
really bad beer. I rather would drink a pint of Carling than drink this. It's a disgrace. It's just like, oh, let's make it pink and raz, put some fruit names on it. And everyone's going to go, oh, it's so interesting and funky. And it's just not. It's horrid. It's really, really bad. I don't even know if I want to score this because it's going to score bad. Now, let's score it. Just to show you that this is a beer that you shouldn't drink. It is terrible. Let's get them scores. Okay, the scores are in for Candy Kittens by Brewdog. If you're watching this up to this level and you haven't decided in yourself not to buy this beer, then take a one look at yourself and say, I must not buy this beer. Look at it, just in case you accidentally pick it up. Candy Kittens, avoid it. Think of brew dog and a cat, cat and dog. No, they don't mix and they shouldn't be drank either. Let's go for the score. So we start off with probably the highest of the scores is the aroma. Well, when I first put it in a, in a glass, I was only surprised by the colour of it. I put my nose to it and it smells quite pleasant, actually. Yes, there's lots of big raspberry aromas. And I thought this may not be too bad. It may be a long way from being a New England IPA that it does say on the can it is, but it might be all right. So I'm giving it 13 for aroma. Appearance-wise, well, apart from I didn't really expect it to be this colour. I expected it to be like a New England IPA with a sort of a raspberry flavour opposed to a full-on raspberry colour. So it looks quite nice. You've got a little, you know, the head sort of, you still retain really. It's not bad. I'm giving it an eight. So we're doing so not bad so far. But then I went to taste it. You know, and let's face it, when it comes down to it, it might look and smell great. But if the taste is not there, it's pointless. And the taste isn't there. It's horrible. It, it, you're expecting that sort of aroma to go into the flavour. Nice sort of, you know, a ra we know it's going to be a raspberry heavy. And, you know, a big fruity raspberry. But it tastes like medicine. It tastes like a cross between cough medicine and basically those palmer violet sweets. Now, even Brewdog did a palmer violets, and I, because I hate them so much, I thought I'm not even going to try that because I know I won't like it. This is what this tastes like. Oh, it's horrible. It's really, 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 really horrible. Oh, it's like medicine. It really is. It's got, a, it's thin, it's fizzy. It's, it's just pointless. I'm giving it 20. And when I think of that, I should really give it zero, but I'm going to give it something. And I don't think I ever score anything that low, but I'm going to give it 20 for flavour. Value for money. Yeah, I mean, the beers, Brewdog beers are just under three quid and it's no surprising. They cut, they have them, usually they're cheaper. £2.40, I think this was. May have even been, might have even been three quid. But anyway, it's usually it's cheaper than most of the beers that they would have on, on display. Which may, which is me, I think, is sneaky because the people go in there and go, oh, I'm going to buy that. It's a bit cheaper. I'll, I'll give that a go. But, you know, you can tell it's, it's cheap for a reason. It's crap. That's basically why, you know, it's cheap shit, basically. And value for money. I mean, well, I mean, I suppose when you think of it, £2.40 to clean, to give your, you know, clean your toilet out, you know, is that expensive? Because that's where this is going. I'll give it six for value. And my overall experience, well, I've had a bad experience with this bit. I didn't have high expectations, but it's somehow even worse than I expected it to be. Um, so I'm giving it five out of 20. Ugh, it really doesn't even deserve that. Tighten the scores up, 52. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I had a beer under under 70, under 50, to be, under 70 even, you know. There's a few that creep through the 60s, but this is a, this is under 60, 52. I have to remember what, what my 52 were. It's basically the cold play. It's not rock. It's just bland and it's... I don't know, it's not bland, it's just horrible. So, please, if you're still watching this video, Candy Kittens, do not drink it. This is the worst beer in the supermarkets. Go and get yourself an alpaca and enjoy it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed it more than you've, if you've had drank this already. So I hope you enjoyed this video more than that experience if you have drank this already. But let me know. I mean, is there um, some crazy fool out there that thinks this is a great beer? Let me know in the comments. And until the next one, keep on rocking.